Remember when you were like 10 years old? The best part of your day was recess, but then all the teachers started making you do all sorts of homework and stuff. Before you know it, it's all homework and papers and super official important tests that determine your worth as a human and what college you go to. Then they ask you what you want to be. What I want to be? I want to be done with all these tests and homework is what I want. But wait, I can do something I actually want to do and get paid for it? That's what you signed up for here. That's why you sat at the kitchen table and did your homework even when it was sunny outside and your friends were trying to get you to come out and play. I mean, you've worked 18 years for this. Okay, not really 18 years. Cause you didn't do much to earn your keep those first few years. Potty training and feeding yourself. Go you. But after all that time, now is not when you screw it up by cheating. In high school, you get an F on an assignment or a test if you cheat. In college, you may fail a class, and depending on how serious the situation is, or if you're a repeat offender, they say bye and don't let the door hit you on your way out. They want to know what you can do, and what you know. Not if you're the MacGyver of cheating. And when we say cheating, we're really talking about violating the academic integrity policy at Michigan Tech. Misconduct includes cheating, and also plagiarism, fabrication, you know, making stuff up, and facilitate academic misconduct, like helping your buddy cheat. And sometimes what is considered academic misconduct isn't all that straightforward. Is working in groups allowed? Is using exams from previous years allowed? What are your restrictions if you have a take-home test? It's important to clarify if you aren't sure. Look at your syllabus, ask your instructor, so you don't get into trouble for something you didn't know wasn't allowed. You see somebody else cheating? That just means that someday they're going to get stuck on some problem because they don't know how to get the answer. And you do. And then you'll be their boss. You owe it to that 10-year-old version of you to not get some academic eviction notice. Do your own work and get help when you need it. Then go out there and rule the world.